Hello everyone, Arthlon here, hoping to juice you up with a very uh, good add-on that I like uh, called D Luna Unit Frames, and you can find it in the description below and download it. Um, this is my favorite add-on to use to replace the HP bars and uh, the portraits and whatnot for your character and allows you to move it wherever you want. And the menu and configuring can be a little bit confusing, so I thought I'd make a video on it. So let's just get started. To uh, bring up the menu, you just type in LUF menu. And as you see, you have a bunch of options. And so you would go over to config mode first to put everything you want where you want it. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit confusing. Um, so right now we're not going to mess with the raid. Um, you're you would use this if you're a healer and you need to set up your healing raid units. But for right now, while you're leveling, most importantly, you're probably not going to have to worry about this just yet. So we're just going to turn that on. Um, as for your party, I just kind of keep it keep it where it's at. Maybe move it up a little bit. And then these are your party's pets. You can put them. In to the side, or maybe you can put them below. Should be fine either way. And then the rest is, uh, this is your pet bar right here. So you can move that wherever you would like, if you have a pet. Um, this is your main uh, character. So you'd want this you know, to the left of something. I usually put it about right here. And, um, Let's just move everything down a little bit. Um, this is your target. This is your uh, target of target, and then this is your target of target of target. But uh, we're not we're not quite there yet, so we're just gonna disable that as well. If you're doing something with target of target of target, you probably don't need to be even watching this video. Um, I do recommend another add-on as well called Better Align. Uh, which is also linked below. Uh, I like comboing this with Luna Unit Frames to um, just make it really organized and really look nice and make sure everything's in, uh, in line with each other. So you just hit show grid here and then you can just see where all the boxes are so you can line things up pretty perfectly. So, so we're just gonna move this right here. This is where usually I put it. But obviously, you can put it wherever you like. You can put it up here, you can put it down, down lower. I usually like having it lower to uh, be closer to my my spells. Uh, I also use bartender, but I thought I would just I would keep the video simple and just down to like one or two add-ons at a time, so you're not sitting here watching me set up eight different add-ons. So we use a better line here just to line up boxes symmetrically here. I usually put my target of target to the right. You can also put it down below. And then after you have everything set up, um, now you can you can configure what's actually on the on the bars here. So you just go to loop menu again. We're done configuring for now so you can turn that off. And then this is where you get to mess around with what your what your bar shows. Um, I can see there's a lot of options here. We're just gonna go through it, and I'll show you what I do. I mean, you can either copy or you can just do what you what you like. You know, you do you. So I like turning off. Uh, I like turning off the class. I don't need to know that. Uh, PvP rank, obviously, I don't need to know that. Uh, everything else is kind of important in one way or another, so I leave that all on. Uh, I don't like the 3D moving portraits uh, that much myself, so I turn that to 2D. And then I think one of the only other things is um, if you have a cast bar that you're using, you can uh, turn this off to where it doesn't show uh, it casting under there. Which usually I am using something else, so I turn it off. And then for 
showing the warrior thing on your name, you don't really need that either. And what that is right here is all the way to the bottom, you see these texts right here. You see smart class, you just delete it. And you're left with just the level and your energy resources. And so that's it for just your character. Target, you do the same thing if you want to turn things off here. Uh, PvP rank, obviously don't really need to know that ever. Class icon, I really don't like, like seeing that. You can turn elite on if the target is an elite. I like that because you gotta have that golden dragon there. It's just, it doesn't feel right without it, right? And then I think everything else is good. And then you can do the same thing down here. Turn the portrait to 2D. I don't like having my my frames moving around and stuff. Kind of distracting. Uh, Casper, usually you leave it on unless you have something else, of course. Uh, smart class, you can turn that off again. Usually you know what you're what you're facing based on a you know, this guy's a mage, it's blue, he has mana. I can see it down below right here. So I don't need to see that on my health bars. Uh, target to target is a little bit more complex. Uh, you turn a lot of things off here because it is just a target to target. You're not going to want to see all this useless info here. Because if you want to see this info, you would just target the target instead of you know, looking at what someone else is targeting. Raid target is probably the only thing I'd, I'd leave up. Uh, for this portrait, I just turn it off. And then I think also at the top, you can, I like turning down the height a little bit. The width is usually, usually fine. Oh, there you can see the golden dragon. So I'll just put it right here. And then, I think that's about it. Um, delete this class again, of course. And yeah, that's about it for Lunar Uniframes. Uh, nothing too complex, but you know, once, if you're a newer player and you, first off, you don't even know how to get to this menu. Um, <laughs> And then once you once you hit config mode and you see, you know, if you have your raid frames on, like you see this giant mess, you're just like, oh, oh god. <laughs> Kinda get overwhelmed for people. So I thought I'd just make a simple guide and uh, show people how to set this up. But that's it for now. If uh you know, I'll be making more videos about add-ons, kinda keeping them simple, not not trying to do three or four add-ons at the same time. So that's it for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.